Welcome back to Urban Upgrade, where we're installing a state-of-the-art digital living room in this condo. Last episode, we determined our display, which is gonna live on this wall. This show, we have to determine our sound system, which creates one big challenge. Most of the components can live on this wall, but we have to install rear speakers on this wall. And the challenge is, there's no easy way in this condo to run speaker wire from one side of the room to the other, because we have hardwood floors and no adjoining walls. I'm gonna consult the experts. Back on and Drugs with Frankie, my home theater expert, Frankie. We've chosen a 42 inch plasma display for our 14 by 14 digital living room. Now give me a great audio system that's gonna marry to it. Couple of options, first off, uh, I'd recommend the Anki audio video receiver. This thing is huge. Yes it is, but it allows you to expand your system okay. as you go along. Okay, so we're gonna wanna add more components. We're gonna wanna add Sorry. a PVR, a Blu-ray player, a gaming system other things as we move along. So this gives us all that expansion. But it's a do-it-yourself system. We've got to marry our That's own right. speakers to it. So what are you going to recommend for my speakers? Various options again, but for the room dimensions that you've given me, I'd recommend the Eclipse. Eclipse, the well-known yeah. speaker system. But this is a wired system, right? That's correct. We've got an issue with this. Now I know a lot of AV experts tell you stay away from wireless options, but really there's going to be no easy way for us to run wires to the back of this room. Okay. So we're going to have to look at wireless. Can okay. you help me out? Yeah, I have a solution for you. I've got this Panasonic home theater in a box. Okay. And that has a rear wireless uh, speaker system. Explain to me how the rear wireless works. The way that works is there's a transmitter on this unit mm -hmm. that sends a signal to the uh, receiver okay. in the rear. And the receiver has to be plugged into electricity. So it's plugged in the wall there. Yeah. From there, you've got two speaker cables that goes from to the receiver to the rear speakers. So the only wireless bridge is from the receiver to the receiving unit, That's and right. then they're wired in. Yeah. Now, what am I giving up with this? Giving up a little bit of upgradability. Okay. So in terms of hooking up more components. How many components can I hook up? Two. Only two right components. Now, yeah. But it does have a Blu-ray player built in, so that's, that's one right. less component that we need. So I can hook up a gaming system and a PVR, which is going to be what most people have for that's this right. particular thing. What about quality of sound? Am I giving up anything there? Quality of sound, it's very good for a home theater in a box. Okay. Um, you'll probably um, lose a little bit of punch. Yeah. It's a 5.1, so we have full surround sound. All that's of right. the encoding and all of that is built in. Plus, I noticed a little bonus. It's got a an iPod That's dock. Right. This is going to be the best sound system in the condo, so you're going to want to plug your iPod in, so that gives us that ability as well. So we're losing a little bit as far as expandability, maybe a little bit of fidelity, but we're gaining lifestyle choice. We're That's gaining right. the ability to have a wireless system that's going to fit in place. That's the decision. So we're going to be looking at a 42-inch plasma display. We're going to be looking at the Panasonic home theater in a box, and we're going to be installing those in our next show.